All right, so let's take this second example and this is example two. And if you've watched the video down to this very place, please consider subscribing if you are yet to subscribe. And also, please make sure you hit that like button to um, get this video recommended to as many people as possible that also love it. Share it with your friends as well. So in this second example, I'm going to show you how simple this particular calculation can be. I only took my time to explain in the first example. That's because for some persons, this might likely be the first time they'll be coming across this calculation. So let's say in this example, in our bill of quantities, for the quantity of concrete in the BOQ, the quantity of concrete in the BOQ in this case is 8 meters cube. And the grade of concrete that is used in this case is M10. So M10 is 1 ratio 3 ratio 6. Since we now know the grade of concrete and we know the quantity of concrete, what we want to know is to know the number of bags of cement that can be used for this concrete grade, which is 8 meters cube in our bill of quantities. So our calculation will start the same way. The first thing is to get our ratio and the ratio is simply going to be 1 plus 3 plus 6 which is equal to 10. So this is our total ratio. Now that I know my total ratio, the next thing to do is I can do my direct calculation from what I've explained all together. So I can just say bags of cement in this case is going to be equal to now, this is 1 ratio, 3 ratio, 6. So it means 1 represents cement, 3 represents sand, and 6 represents aggregate. So I'm going to say 1 all over. What is the total ratio? The total ratio is 10. Multiply by the quantity of concrete that we have in the bill of quantities is 8. Multiply by, remember the constant I told you that would always be included in your calculation, which is going to take care of the decrease in the volume of concrete when it is, when, when water is added. So the adjustment for wet concrete is 1.54. I've explained it earlier on in this video. And then the next thing is going to be multiplied by, we already know that for one meters cube of concrete, we are going to make use of 28.8 bags of cement. I've already established that fact. So I'll just bring it down directly. This is just a constant. 28.8 bags of cement for one meters cube of concrete. So when I do this calculation directly, any answer I have is going to be automatically the total bags of cement that will be used for 8 meters cube of grid M10 concrete. So you can see that the calculation does not take more time. I'm just going to press my calculator 1 divide by 10 multiply by 8 multiply by our constant 1.54 multiply by 28.8 which is going to give me 35.48. I'm going to round it up to 36 bags. I know that it is 35.48 and I cannot round it up, but in this case, I'm rounding it up because this value is a little bit higher. So it can just cover up for some kind of wastage that would likely happen in the site. So this is the final calculation. You can see it is not long like the first one. The first one is used to establish how all this constant comes into play. Why the second one shows you how short it can be. So if you are doing it professionally, just bear in mind that you would always do it this way. But if you are in school, Make sure you use the first example to carry out your calculation. So, be so before we go from this video today, here is an assignment for you. I want you to do this as fast as possible. Try it yourself. This is the quantity of concrete in, in the bill of quantity. So the quantity of concrete in the bill of quantity this time around is, let's say, 18 cubic meters. And then the grade that I want you to use is m30 so i wanted to do the calculation determine the quantity or the bags of cement please 50 kg cement that will be used to complete this particular concrete determine the quantity of cement the 50 the number of cement that will be used for 18 meters cube of grid m30 concrete so i'm going to be making a, another video tomorrow i've made up my, my mind to making videos on a daily basis so that video tomorrow is going to be on how to calculate the quantities for sand but i want you to understand how to do for cement perfectly before we go into sand so tomorrow before i move ahead with my video i'm going to show the solution to this particular assignment so that you can verify which of your calculation is correct so i'm going to show you a screenshot of it so that you can just download it and then you can make use of it to cross check your own work so this is your assignment you can just let me know. In fact, tomorrow in the next video, what I want you to do is to just come down to the comment section before the video commences, before I even drop the solution on the comment section. 
type what your answer was for this particular solution i may likely decide to pick one lucky winner and share him a link to get my course for free in our video tomorrow so i think i'll be doing that very often so that we can get to understand all this estimation proper i love you so much see you in the next video